Well, hello everyone, and welcome to our fifth installment of our of the Triton Trojan Spotlight. Um, today, uh, we're coming from Triton Junior Senior High School, and we are going to be talking to uh, three of our students who have taken, or they're part of a group um, that is doing a, uh, a tie blanket project, um, and they're going to explain to you a little bit how the process works and exactly who all these blankets are going to. So, um, first up, Trevor, um, let me ask you, how did how did the students decide this is the project you wanted to do? Uh, well, well, it all started when we did our first uh, blanket uh, project for uh, babies born in Marshall County, and now well, we decided to uh, do it for uh, the residents of nursing homes in Plymouth. Bailey Davis, uh, please describe the steps in creating these blankets. Well, we first made the video asking for your guys' donations, and then we took the donations and we used them to get material and fabric, and then we took that and sized it all up, got it cut up, and now we're gonna begin tying them together. Kendra Morris, how long do you think it takes to make each bike on an average? Probably about an hour, depending on how fast you tie them. Bailey, what do you feel is the most difficult part of this project? Uh, there are a lot of things difficult about it, but um, the most difficult thing would probably be finding time to get it done. And Bailey, with all that time commitment that it requires, what do you find most rewarding? Um, most rewarding part is probably knowing that I did something to help someone else out. That they'll find comfort from it. And I think that uh, they will feel happy knowing that we uh, did this for them. And how do you guys feel or how do you think the people that are receiving these blankets are going to feel even though they don't know any of you students because most of them are, are from out of town? Well, I just think that they'll be appreciative that we did this for them and even though we don't know them, they'll just know that we were still thinking of them and they'll also find comfort like Kendra said earlier. I think that they'll be grateful for it. And again, I, I think that they will be, be happy even if they uh, uh, don't know who we are. So our ultimate goal with this project is we plan on roughly making a little over 100 of these blankets in the coming weeks. Um, the staff will spend time um, doing the cutting after school, and the students get to spend their time, free time, when they're not studying, doing their work. Um, they'll spend the time uh, tying them all together and... Um, Make, making it all come together to, it, it'll be a really nice project. Uh, when it is all completed, we will um, share that with the community. We'll show pictures and, and post it on Facebook and, and put it on the website. So once again, I want to thank you students for being involved and taking the initiative to help others out in the community um, where there is a need. 